Hey y'all, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to talk about 10 classics I want to read in 2023. Let's get into it. You know me, I'm not a big classic reader. But one of my goals this year is to read 10 classics throughout the entire year. Probably read some in Jane Austen July. I participated in Jane Austen July very lightly where I read Pride and Prejudice and watched the 1995 TV series. And it was a lot of fun. Just love dipping my toes in the classics that I've read so far. But I want to read more classics and that's what this video is for. My girl Miriam over at Miriam Elizabeth Reads always comes in clutch with the classics recommendations. She had a video where she ranked 100 classics and I love that video. <laughs> it really helped me kind of figure out some that I would probably enjoy and build a little classic shelf on my bookshelves. And so let's go ahead and jump into the video with the books that I think I want to read this year. <laughs> you never know. TBRs, they're subjective. But I just really wanted to start January off with a video that I could kind of refer back to. I wrote it down in my notebook, but hey, we love a good video we can refer back to, right? So yeah, let's go. So first and foremost, I really want to read some Sherlock Holmes. I know that Stacy over at, well, it was Christian Reads and Classics, and she's recently changed her name to Wandering with Stacy. Hey, girl, hey. We love to see it. Love the new name. But Stacy loves Sherlock Holmes, and I know that I'm going to love these books. Like, I loved the TV show that had Benedict Cumberbatch in it on Netflix. I didn't even, I didn't even watch the last thing that they put out but I did watch the first ones when they were coming out and had a lot of fun with that and, and so also Miriam has talked highly about Sherlock Holmes so I really want to read them and I have two on my list I know that I really want to start off with a study in Scarlet I looked up and that's what everybody says to read first if, if I'm wrong Tammy but uh yeah I really want to start off with this one and I've actually got what, five of these? Yeah, I bought like a box set. So when Miriam did the recommendations video, honey, your girl bought the box set. So hashtag influence, okay? Uh, anyway, and then she talked highly about the Hounds of Baskerville. Hounds of the Hounds. Look at me, honey. Okay, do I even know what I'm doing? Um, no. <laughs> the Hound of the Baskervilles. Love this edition. Got this on a uh, book outlet. So yeah, this will be good to read like in October, probably that time. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I gotta get some Sherlock books read, okay? So I don't know if I'll if I'll do both of these this year. We'll see at least one of them. And next coming in are three Jane Austen. Of course, I love Pride and Prejudice, and I really just want to dive into more of Jane Austen's works. And so, Persuasion, I know, y'all, I said in one of my videos that this is going to be the 20, in, in my list of 23 books to read in 2023. I forgot all about that when I had the hubs do the whole cart thing, picking up my TBR. So, if you ain't seen that video, I like it. It was fun. But yeah, so instead of that, we're just going to say that's in my classics, okay? I'm planning on reading this actually this week. So, this is definitely going to get read. Uh, we'll see if I get there, but it's relatively short and I do plan on reading this. I also want to watch some adaptations, all the good things. So, definitely plan on reading that pretty quick. And then, Northanger Abbey is on my list as well. And Emma. I've heard good things about both of these. Really good things about Emma. So much fun. I know nothing about this. This. Know a little bit about this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Miriam, girl, I'm looking at you, girl. Little women. <laughs> Is that going to happen? I don't know. Um, At least start it. You know, like, I need to know. I know nothing. Nothing, y'all. I've never even watched an adaptation. I know nothing. So... Advice below. Do you read the book first and then watch some adaptations? Should I re watch some adaptations to at least kind of know what's up? Is the writing style easy here? I need to ask Miriam. Where am I being? So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, just, I really want to know. They say this is great to read around Christmas. How many pages is this, y'all? 700 and something. Hey, that's shorter than an Outlander book, technically. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, Little Women. And I love this edition. This is the Puffin and Bloom edition. Isn't that as beautiful? We love to see it. And then The Secret Garden is also on my list. I never read this. And a lot of people read this as kids, it seems like, or in high school or something. I never read this. So, and I know nothing. So, I just throwing it out there. I think I've got two copies. Do I have two copies? Nuh-uh. How did this happen? 
No. Okay, yeah, I do got two copies. <laughs> I thought I had three. Never mind. I have two copies. <laughs> I love these little editions I got at Books of Man many years ago. But I couldn't pass this up, you know? I mean, what am I saying? Uh, I mean, I'm somebody who's got three copies of Annie Gurren Gables. I don't even know what happened. Okay, that ain't gonna make it now. We're gonna have to slow that sit for a minute. Uh, so, yeah, Secret Garden. Who is this even by? Francis Hodgson, Hodgson Burnett. I'm, I'm not doing too good on this. <laughs> and I don't even say the names of this one. Louise May Alcott on Little Women. You can tell I ain't filmed in a minute. Uh, so... Then, of course, I talked about this actually twice last year that I was going to read this and never got to it. It is a children's classic, Heidi. First of all, we love this cover too, don't we? I mean, look at the yellow. It just stands out so much. And I just, I'm getting, I'm getting like the same vibes that I did from Anne. Like the feeling. Is that going to be how I feel with this? I hope. We love to see it. Joanna, Johanna, Joanna, I don't know. I don't know. Let's say that. Fiery A. This cover, so good. And then, uh, same here, A Little Princess. I love this cover so much, y'all. Oh, the inside. Love it. Uh, by Frances Hodgson Burnett. Wait, is that the same person? Hey, it is. Hey, I got two by her. Look at me. <laughs> so. What is this video? I obviously don't know anything about classics to be filming this. Why am I filming <laughs> for entertainment? Okay. Um, and then the last one I have on the list is Elizabeth Gaskell's North and South. This is a definite. Definite. I mean, it took me three times just to get this book because I kept getting damaged. And it's still kind of like a little bit right here. But it's fine. Uh, Miriam's talked about this too. One of her favorites. Never seen an adaptation. Don't know nothing. Girl. I'm here for it though. So yeah, that's my little stack. Just a quick video, really quick video to go into these. I didn't talk about what they're about because you're gonna know, yeah, <laughs> no synopsis read over here, okay? But like I said, I, I have several classics on my shelf, but like those are the ones that stand out to me. I don't know. Uh, I definitely want to read some more of Anna Green Gables anyway this year, so that will be included, but I didn't want to put that on the list. I read book one and two. I'd like to get to book three. I'd, I'd have it on my shelf. So, yeah, at some point I want to get to those. And, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know down in the comments below any classics that you think I should read. What should I prioritize first? Uh, have you read any of these? All the good things. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, y'all.